Hey everybody, it's Nate and Steph from Explorers.life. We teach people how to build DIY campers. Welcome back to episode number 16 in our Ford Transit DIY camper van build series. In last week's episode, we installed some puck lights into the van, and in this week's episode, we're going to be installing a dimmer switch. So let's get started. Here's a list of parts that you're gonna need for this project. A 12 volt DC dimmer, two conductor and three conductor lever nuts, and a pre-existing lighting circuit. This video is based on the diagrams found in the Explorus Life 12 volt branch circuit guidebook. And if you're using the Explorus Life puck light wiring kit, the extra lever nut required is already included. We're just gonna pick up where we left off from last week with a fully completed lighting circuit here. So battery, positive and negative wires, fuse block, switch, light. Everything here we learned last week. We're gonna turn the uh, switch on here. We have a fuse in there. And then we've got a completed lighting circuit. Now ultimately this light would be up in the ceiling, which is why I have left all of these wires here so long, but we are going to be focusing on this switch right here. And so I am gonna drop the light off the side of the table so that we can focus on just what goes on here because it gets a little messy. This is the dimmer switch that we are going to be using in our build. And this is just pretty common dimmer on Amazon. Just turns forward and backwards to dim the lights. Now it has three wires on the back, red, black, and white. And all of these dimmers are going to come with instructions. And this particular set of instructions is pretty nice. The, part, the hard part about this is that the colors are quite confusing. You can see that the black is going to the, is going to the, uh, the battery ground, which is common. And then the red one is going to the light negative, which red going to a negative wire, that's, that's really confusing to me. And I have a hard time keeping that straight. Also on the, uh, the positive wire, we have the red wire here. So we have red wires on both positive and negative sides. So here, so we really just need to be able to interpret this diagram onto these wires here. So we went to town with a label maker and simply labeled what all these go to. So we have our light negative, our battery negative, and our positive wire here. This helps keep things straight for me. So if this helps you, Feel free to copy. If you can keep it all straight in your head, that's fine too. Since we're about to disconnect some of these wires, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my main battery switch off here or otherwise disconnect power from the battery. To connect all of these wires, I'm just going to simply connect the positive wire, which is white on the back of this particular dimmer, into this lever nut here, like so. And now the switch has power. Next, I want to disconnect the negative wire that goes to the light from this lever nut that's installed by the switch. Set it over here for now. And we're going to connect the battery negative wire to the battery negative side of the circuit here that's going to the fuse block. And then the light negative is going to go to the negative wire that goes to the light. So that goes in the lever nut. As does this one. And that is the circuit. So double check everything that we've got here. So we've got positive going to positive, battery negative going to the negative fuse block, which is connected to battery negative, and then light negative there. So a little closer view of that looks like that. Now let's test it and see if it works. Bring our light back up here. Nope. Turn our battery switch on. Turn it 
turn the light switch on, our light comes on. So we've done something hopefully right. And now, so it is fading on and off. Let's kill the lights just a little bit to see how this works. And this should be a little easier to see. So there is a little weird flickering whenever it's like all the way down, but that's barely, barely on. Now this is a common problem I've seen in people who just try to use just the dimmer switch, the on off function of the dimmer switch. But if it's down like that, remember we have this secondary switch that can just turn it completely off like that. Now we have a fully functional dimmer switch in this lighting circuit here. So whenever we get this actually fastened in the van, this dimmer switch is just going to live right above or right under, I haven't decided yet, the actual on off switch right here. So we'll be able to turn the circuit on, adjust the dim or brightness level, turn the circuit off, nice and neat. So we are actually going to be installing this dimmer switch into the circuit inside of the van that we showed last week with all the lights going down the center of the van. So we're going to go install that over there and then circle back around with how that actually looks completed in the van. Just finished up swapping this dimmer switch into this pre-existing circuit. Now, if you don't know what this pre-existing circuit like looks like, uh, we did a video last week that covers this one uh, start to finish. So go check that one out if you haven't seen that one already. The dimmer switch is pretty easy to integrate into this existing system. We had to disconnect the negative wire from the pre-existing lever nut right here and add a lever nut on this side so that our dimmer switch could split the uh, the wire coming in, the negative wire coming in from the fuse block and then going out to all the lights. On the positive wire, uh, the positive wire for the dimmer switch, it needed to connect into the wire that's before the switch. And so we had to swap the two conductor lever nut for a three conductor lever nut so that we could add that in. So it was pretty simple. Uh, it took me about three minutes and that was even messing up the colors one time, but thank goodness we have them labeled and I was able to check before I actually sent power to it. But as far as testing it, the switch, we turn the switch on, lights come on, and then dimmer switch functions pretty well. So I think let's kill the lights and actually see how dim this actually gets because we have 10 lights in here, so it should be pretty bright and then pretty dim. So let's check that out. So these are the lights when they are 100% uh, on, uh, 100% off from the switch on again and then using the dimmer switch to slowly dim them down to that. That's as dim as they get before it actually stops. And this is pretty dim, like it's definitely not in your face lighting. Um, probably only be good for like not stubbing your toe on something on the ground, I suppose, uh, but probably not good for reading or anything. Can bring them back up and they are pretty bright. So we have 10 lights um, that are gonna be going down the center of this van. And I think these are gonna be plenty bright uh, by the time we get the walls in and everything like that, because we're gonna have like kind of a natural finish like bamboo wall uh, covering. Um, that's the plan as of now. And so we have matte black walls, so it looks a little darker right now because that black is really soaking up the light. So uh, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I like the dimming feature. I think that's gonna be super nice. And that's it. Now that the dimmer switches are installed, it's time to install some two-way switches. And that's coming up next, so stay tuned. Now we hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, it would be awesome if you would share it with somebody or a group who you think could use it. Leave any questions you've got or new things you learned in the comment section below. And if this video inspired you to build something, be sure to share your projects with us on Instagram by using the Explorer Slide tag so that we can see and share your projects. Subscribe if you want to see more DIY camper building tutorials, and we will see you in the next video.